Right, it allows me a couple of seconds now because I edit this first bit in. Uh, do I remember everybody's name? Right, when I, when I, I'm going to mention everybody's name, and when I mention them, I want you to say yes. Here, like to see, okay? Right, okay. Here we go, three, two, one, and good evening. Today is, what date is it today, ladies and gentlemen? It's the 10th of January in the year of our Lord, 2012. I think that's the first time I've actually said that. We are at the Gospel Discovery Centre, and we have today a few people. We have Paul from Curves. Hello, Paul. Paul was going to sing a song that he's just wrote, written um, recently, so we're looking forward to hearing that um, later on uh, in the episode. We have um, Kelly and Paul. Just say hello. hello. Uh, we've got Ian from Gospel Info. We've got DJ Paul Small, DJ, and also he's, he does a few other interesting things as well, actually, so we'll interview him about that. We've got the lovely Maggie. Uh, from Weddings of Distinction, we've got Linda from Utilities, we've got Lynn from Training, and, and we've got our first, first guest, uh, which is Mandy Saw. So come on into the show. Hello, Mandy. Hello. Hello. Did you have a good Christmas? Not too bad, thank you. Good. Now, um, please, it's all over. please, it's all over. I'm back to normal. Uh, I didn't have a single drink over Christmas. It was a bit of an accident, um, but uh, it was a good Christmas, but no drink. Now, now Mandy... Um, I know a bit about what you do because you are a local artist to Portsmouth and to Gospel. Yeah, that's right. So, um, what have you? What, what is it you're looking? What sort of jobs? What is it you're looking for right now? Is anybody out there and here can I help you out with? Oh, well, I'm quite happy to go into schools and do workshops um, as part of their national curriculum. They have certain projects that come up um, around Easter time, summer, so I can do anything that they want really, op space projects. I did one last year with the uh, Chidham Primary School, doing mosaics with the whole school. Um, I've just made um, a Jurassic six foot fiberglass egg for another school and various other commissions. A six foot fiberglass egg. Can you get into that egg? I mean, can, yeah. Yeah. can you can. Okay. That was the aim. It's broken in two pieces so that uh, the children can get in it. Okay. Okay. You can fit in it as well. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's quite interesting, actually. I also know that um, you're um, a sort of regular guest at the New Inn Pub in Gosport. And uh, if I remember yeah. correctly, last year, were you doing a mural or something? Yeah, I've, um, I'm not a regular as a drinker there. I've done two murals um, in the pub garden. One was um, a sort of Caribbean, Hawaiian type theme. Um, the last one we did was Halloween. So I think we're due for another one. We were going to do a Christmas one, but that... We never got round to that. Also, I have some photographs on show there, which were part of the Gospel Heritage Open Day, a residency I had here a year and a half ago. And they're on permanent display there now, which is great. Yeah, so um, Mandy is a, a regular at Gospel Heritage Open Days, and yeah. you've been doing some regular events for that. And uh, so if you need uh, uh, any photographs done, because you are a professional photographer. A professional photographer, printmaker, sculptor. And I run a charity called Artscape where I work uh, with vulnerable adults as well. Yes, so uh, very well done on that. So thanks for popping down. And um, if you've got any jobs or if you think you may need uh, Mandy's services, then your website is? Uh, www.mandysaw.org. That's M-A-N-D-I-E-S-A-W, Mandy Saw. Thank you very much, Mandy. Ah, nice round of applause. Uh, I, I had a conversation with, um, and in fact, I saw you on a website. Come over, Lynn. Come over, Lynn. So, hello. Hiya. Come, come a little bit closer, just so. Um, have you got us in there, um, <laughs> Ali? Perfect. Okay. I spoke to uh, Linda today uh, because um, you've got a new business, which is at Gospel, um, Gospel Business Centre up on the yeah. A32. And um, so a couple of quite, do you want to just briefly tell us about um, what you're doing? Um, very briefly, it's training personal development for businesses and individuals. Now there's something that I quite liked, um, you told me a little bit earlier that you were doing, and there's, that, there's a couple of free places for youngsters. So yeah. tell, us, tell me a little bit on how that works. Yeah, by youngsters for the free places, we're looking up to the age of 25, though we deal with youngsters of all ages. Um, really but it's helping them get back into work and what we're looking to do um, is do training but making it real skills real people giving them a chance to put those skills 
into um, real experience, um, be able to get references, and if uh, we're going to become a, um, an MVQ approved centre in the future, so we're looking to give them the opportunity to do MVQs as well, and that type of thing. That's, that's good. Um, one thing that I did like is the fact there's an opportunity for uh, young people to work with local businesses to get to get a little bit of um, some experience and of course one thing as a youngster um, that you always ask is that do you have any experience and obviously they don't um, so if you are a local business out there and you're looking for um, a little bit of help or something then perhaps you, you know they'll volunteer for experience and then in return they'll be able to use that for their CVs and and getting a job and that's important to youngsters out there Absolutely. so thank you very much for coming in and speaking to us and it's good to meet you today and good to meet you um, website is www.limbirdexpress that's l-y-n B-Y-R-D Express dot co dot UK but we've got a free phone number which is 0800 508 8338 Yeah, I remember. I very well remember there. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm just going to now pass you over to Ali uh, from Paramount Bathrooms and um, First Scout Group um, in Gosport who's going to um, take over really and interview some of you other guys. So um, big round of applause for Ali, please. Come on, Ali. Hello, Ali, you all right? Hi, Rick. Yeah, fine. You always make me laugh, you know that, don't you? Uh, you've always got a smiley face, and um, the, you told me something that you're, you're doing um, quite different. I mean, I know that you do some great work as an, a part of the executive committee and uh, first um, scout group, and there are about, I don't know, five or six scout groups. And obviously you've got your Paramount Bathrooms, which is a local company that does kitchens as well as bathrooms. High quality, great service, obviously, yeah. Uh, but there's, there is um, uh, something else that you're doing, um, which is um, you're telling me a little bit earlier. And I know that you really didn't want to tell me too much about it today. In fact, you didn't really want to discuss it at all. But we're here now, so you didn't want to discuss what we're going to. So come on, Ali, tell us about what you are in the process of doing? Um, I am in the process of uh, trying to get together some, uh, it's, it's an item for every occasion, but a memorable item. Uh, so it's going to be personalised um, and natural. I can't okay. really say much more than that at the moment. It's top secret. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's not so much top secret now, but uh, will, you, will you bring something along next week? Or week or two, just just yeah. for us to have a little look, uh, just to have a little look at. Yeah, will you do that? Oh yes. yes okay, yes. great. Exclusive. And of course, exclusive. And of course, there is a, a, a fabulous wedding and prom fair, uh, which I'm um, hosting at Thorngate Halls, 25th, 26th. <laughs> and of course, um, you'll be there with your stuff, which we can't say because it's top secret. But you'll be there as well. Did I say what did I say? Oh, it's February the 25th. And 26. Thank you, Ma Maggie Weddings Distinction, just mouthing to me and correct, putting me right. Okay, right, thank you very much. Uh, over to you, Ali. Cheers, Rick. Right, cut there. Okay. Cut. Right, who's next? <coughs> going to shoot off in a minute could you put some contact details there because I do need to talk to you about my top secret thing at some point <laughs> yeah. preferably before you go away as well if you're going to run away because uh, your, your input Mrs. would be it depends how I feel on the way the wind the way the wind Yep. Make sure the glass.
else is on top. <laughs> Okay. okay. And remember to keep the, the, the mic, mic. About the closer. There. Uh, closer. And then the same from the mic. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so you have to adjust the volume. I'm the mic here as well. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks, Rick. Um, here we have uh, Maggie from Weddings of Distinction, Top Shop. And uh, what's, hot, what's happening with uh, Weddings of Distinction at the moment? Well, um, officially, it's not really the busy season for weddings. However, we're busy beavering away <laughs> doing weddings. Um, it's not just weddings, it's corporate events and birthday parties, um, anniversaries and so on. Um, but all the uh, floral work we make ourselves, um, not competing with our friends over here who are florists. I don't work with real flowers, but um, crystals and foam and so on. Um, but we have to make everything, so it's very time consuming, but exclusive and unique to each particular bride. But uh, it's fun, we enjoy it. Fantastic, so something for every occasion then. Definitely, not men just, not as just well weddings. as women. <laughs> I'd like a like a little flower. Yeah. Oh, you just come and see me. I can do one for each year. It's a promise. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Thanks very much. Um, is there anything? Uh, trying to run away. We're going to have to let Maggie run away. Right. Um, if I can, am I allowed to just plug plug? Well, I do have another string to my bow. <laughs> um, Electro Trade, which is. Um, also in the same building, they're side by side, which is um, an electrical shop which has been in town for more about 32 years. And it's, um, it's a bit like Aladdin's cave. If you can't get anything anywhere else, you'll probably get it there. Thank you. Fantastic, which is right. It is an Aladdin's yeah. cave. <laughs> it is a brilliant shop. Hi, and here now we have uh, DJ Small. Hello. Hello. Um, so, DJ Small, you play lots of great tunes locally and that, like Cliff, Cliff Richard. And yeah, I do all <laughs> sorts of, maybe not Cliff Richard. I've got a little bit of Cliff for you if you want it. Um, we can, I do uh, all sorts of parties from sort of kids, toddlers, games with prizes as well, um, through to the teenagers, into the 18s, 21st, right through all the birthdays, weddings, school discos. I've got residencies in a few schools in Gosport and in the local area around Hampshire and, and whatnot. Also got um, experience in clubbing, uh, club, not in clubbing, in club, <laughs> in clubs, yeah. Um, I can also get any song you're after. We do playlists and requests on the night as well, so that's no problem at all. Fantastic. And you'll, you'll do a nice free event for the scouting group. That's, that's brilliant. Yeah. That's, that's brilliant. <laughs> Supporting the community is, is great. It's great. Uh, but I also hear that you um, do something else on, on the ice. I do. I um, coach ice skating. I've, I've been ice skating for over 20 years and um, now taken to doing it professionally. Is that teaching as well? Yeah, kids and adults all ages. My youngest pupil is five. My eldest is probably nearly 70. So all age ranges. All ages. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So uh, any plans for dancing on ice? Gosport, Gosport on ice. As Surely. Richard's just mentioned, it would be a good idea. Maybe we could get that, get that ball rolling. Um, anyone that's seen Dancing on Ice on telly, maybe you want to have a go, then come down for a lesson. That'd be great. I'll just, I just... That's at um, Gosport Ice Rink, which is on the Holbrook Leisure Centre uh, grounds. Oh, the Fairham and Gosport Road? Yeah, on Fairham Road, yeah. Um, so details on the ice skating coaching, you can visit my website, which is iskatecoach.co.uk. That's the letter I, skatecoach.co.uk. Or for the DJing, it's djsmallpool.co.uk. Fantastic. I just want to see, um, we've got some budding judges waiting to, itching to judge that. I think they're more willing to see Rick on the ice and landing on his ass. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. We can see it. We can picture it. Awesome. Improvement there. <laughs> few tips to be learnt, maybe. And I also do a bit of printing and website design on the side as well. It's uh, cheap and cheerful stuff. 
um, so nothing too fancy. But um, yeah, if you want to quote on that, that's spservicesuk.com. Fantastic. I'll have to get a card off you later. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks very much, Paul. Thank you. Next to next. Floristal Macklin. Come on, one of you two, get up here. Oh, sorry. Make the place. Charmaine. Right, hi, we've got uh, Charmaine Florists. Um, are you over in Southsea? We are, yes, um, but we can deliver. Um, in Portsmouth area and sort of in Fairham Gosport as well, so that's not a problem. Great, I have to get some flowers for my wife. Yes, we'll be there for you. We can deliver during the day and um, we try and deliver at specific times if requested and be there on that date. That's fantastic. She's always off doing the school run or uh, my errands or, yeah, that, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's great. Yep. Uh, have you got anything, uh, any, any specials or any uh, f good flowers you'd recommend at the moment? Um, at the moment, the spring flowers, we've got Christmas out of the way, so now it's the spring themes are coming through. So all the tulips and freesias and um, narcissi, so they make a lovely combination. There we go, people out there. That's what you want to be ordering. Picture it on your mantelpiece. That's it. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, we're back again. It's um, Ali, and we've got Linda with the Utilities Warehouse. So um, what's, what's hot with uh, you at the moment? All oh, been quite busy. Um, everybody's sort of, uh, now the winter period, everybody's bills, utility bills are shooting up, so they're all shopping around for something cheaper. Is it the uh, scary winter gas bills coming yeah. through? Time to uh, wake up and go and see you guys. Yep, that's true. And the difference with us is um, we save our save customers money because we don't advertise it's all word of mouth all referrals and also you get a personal service you haven't got um, somebody in another country ans answering the phone to you um, you get us we come along we sort it all out for you the changeover is easy and if you get any problems at any time then just give myself or one of the other guys a ring and we sort it all out for you rather than you sitting on the end of the phone hoping that someone's going to answer you what more could you ask for a fantastic service save money and a personal touch it sounds great and um can i have Give a tip for the day. Please. <laughs> because Utility Warehouse doesn't just do gas and electric. We also do um, landline phones, mobiles and broadband. And um, one little tip, this is ideal for people perhaps who've got large families who and all the teenagers are vying for the phone or for small businesses, especially um, people who work from home, rather than considering having a, another phone line put in, because a lot of people, they work from home, they um, would like to keep their business line separate from their home phone. So rather than having another phone line installed, we do an internet phone. As long as you've got a modem, you plug the, um, whatever you call it, into... Plug the socket, Adapter. In, plug the socket, <laughs> socket in the doodah. Yeah, yep. yeah, into there. Plug a landline phone into the adapter, and there you go. Two pound a month line rental. You've got another phone line. That's fantastic. Okay. That's fantastic. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> and now it's definitely time for some news. Come on in. Well, unfortunately, I'm afraid I haven't received any news uh, this week. So if anyone's got any, what's wrong with the people out there? <laughs> Load up Ian with some more emails. He loves more emails. Yes, uh, Ian at gosport.info. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. It's a great website. Please go and visit it. It really is good. Thanks, Ian. <laughs> now it's time to finish off on a high note. It's Paul from Curves with his tune that he's written. Take it away, Paul. Okay. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm going to sing a song I've written this week called On Top of the World. Thank I'm facing life head on, but not in my own strength. I'm counting on. Crazy. 